First on Fox, ZZ Top's bass player Dusty Hill is dead. The iconic 70s classic rock band made the announcement this morning. Fox 51's Madison Herbert joins us in studio to tell us how they plan to remember and carry on his legacy. Madison. Sarah, the news of Dusty's passing is heartbreaking. He led a life and leaves a legacy that is worth remembering, one that partially took place right here in East Texas. Originally formed in Houston, Texas, ZZ Top took Lone Star State Blues Rock worldwide, but now they mourn the loss of their bass player, Dusty Hill. So the first thing I did is go to their official website. No mention of it. And I'm thinking maybe it's a fraud. So I went to their Facebook page and there it was. Robin Hood Studios in Tyler is where the start of their fame began, where they recorded their first two albums. The news of Hill's passing came Wednesday morning when the remaining band members posted that he had died in his sleep, adding that they will miss his steadfast presence. Steve was a, was a good guy. He was strong. So they've lost more than just a bass player. They've lost a lead singer too. They were expected to perform at the Cowan Center in December, but after the news of his death, the fate of that performance is unknown. I don't know, Billy has said that ZZ Top is those three guys, period. And if it's not gonna be those three guys, it's not gonna be ZZ Top. The studio owner who helped lead the band into fame looks back on what it was like to work with this little old band from Texas. I had put microphones out here away from the drum booth. I'd put microphones out in the hall. I just trying to do anything that would create a big sound and I, I finally got it. The band has been nominated for Grammys and MTV Music Awards, but they had a bond that not even fame could break. I, I think any time you've been a trio for that long and stayed together and, uh, and kept your act together, I think he'll be remembered very fondly and uh, I'll miss him a lot. No one knows what the future holds for the band but they will always hold history for us here in East Texas. Hill was in Houston at the time of his passing and the cause of his death is unknown at this time. He died at the age of 72. In studio, Madison Herber, Fox 51 News.